Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk to you about whether you should use a parameter or whether you should use the term statistics. So these are different when you are studying statistics. It is important to know what you are dealing with because as you move through statistics, you will find that there are different symbols that we use for parameters versus if we are talking about statistics. So it's really, really important to know whether you are talking about a parameter or whether you are talking about a statistic. So let's look at the definition. So a parameter is a numerical description of a population characteristic. So anytime you are talking about the entire population, then you are going to be using a parameter. The nice thing, if you notice, they are emphasizing that the two both start with a P. So anytime you are talking about the population, then you are going to use a parameter. Typically, when you get into using... Uh, symbols for things, this is going to be um, the Greek alphabet. So typically the Greek alphabet will be used so anytime you see a Greek letter in statistics, a lot of times that that is going to be used for a population parameter. So if you're just starting a statistics class, I recommend that as you move through your course, maybe create a symbol list because that's the hardest thing about statistics is all of the different symbols and know whether those symbols go with parameters or whether they go with a statistic. So a statistic is a numerical description of a sample. So if you notice the two S's go together. So this is going to be a numerical description of a sample. So I do have examples under each of them. So the example that I gave for a population parameter is the average age of all people in the United States. And the example of a statistics would be the average age of people from a sample of three states. So um, a lot of times we deal with samples in statistics instead of the entire population because a lot of times it's hard to study the entire population, but it's a lot easier to select people that live there. So for example, it would be really difficult for me to go through and find every single person that lives in the United States. We do perform censuses every 10 years where we do try to figure out who lives there and their age and all of that. Um, but a lot of times people still get missed no matter how, um, how much they try to make sure that they are accurate. So anytime you were describing all of them, and like I said, populations a lot of times are hard to do. So looking at all of the people in the United States and finding their age and then finding the average age of that would be very difficult. It would be a lot easier. Even this one where it's saying average age of people from a sample of three states would be difficult because then you have to know all the people in those three states. So a more realistic example of a sample statistic would might be um, selecting a thousand adults that live in the United States and finding the average age of those 1,000 people. So anytime you are talking about a sample, it is known as a statistic. And anytime you're talking about a population, it is known as a parameter. So I have two examples down here. Um, I want you to pause the video and decide whether each number describes a population parameter or a sample statistic. It's always helpful to try it on your own, have, have, knowing the definition, and then see if you got the correct answer. So the first one that you would have is a survey of several hundred collegiate student athletes in the United States found that during the season of their sport, the average time spent on athletics by student athletes is 50 hours per week. And then the second one is the freshman class at a university has an average SAT math score of 514. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure it out. And then once you have written down your answers, then come back and unpause the video and see if you got it right. All right, so let's talk about this first one. In here, the key word is that they're saying that it's a survey of several hundred collegiate athlete, student athletes. Okay, so since it's only several hundred, this is going to be a sample of all collegiate student athletes. So if you go to any one university, they're gonna have several hundred collegiate student athletes. So that's the information that denotes to us that even though it didn't explicitly state sample, you can deduce from the fact that we're only talking about several hundred that it would be referencing a sample. And so since this is a sample, this would be considered a statistic. OK, 
Okay. So what they did is out of these several hundred people, they came to an average and said that the average time spent on athletics by student athletes in a week is approximately 50 hours. Okay, um, so this number right here would be the sample statistic that they're talking about. So they're talking about an average. Okay, uh, for the second one, what we have is the freshman class at a university has an average SAT math score of 514. So for this one, we are talking about the entire freshman class. So this would be the population of that class. Can't talk and write at the same time, sorry. Population of this university. So this would be our population of the university. And so since we're talking about that entire freshman class at this specific university, this would be a parameter since it is describing a population. And I will say that one of the biggest mistakes that I see my students make on this is they're like, well, this is just one university. And so they think that it's a sample because they're talking about one university. But remember that this is the population for that specific university. So I couldn't compare this information to another university. I can only compare it to this single university. So it is not a sample. It is the population of that specific university. So hopefully this video helped you to identify the difference between a sample statistic and a population parameter. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.